over here. You think you're on the regular podcast radio show? No, you're not. You don't ask me the questions you ask every fucking buddy else that you've written down and now memorized. Here's a good question. Nick, what is your Snapchat name? I'll tell you what it is. It's Nick's Dick Pick 69. Uh, and it's for everybody who wants to add me, it's N I X D I C K P I X 69. I want, I want to make sure you spell it correctly so I get your friend request. There you go. You won't be disappointed. I promise that. <laughs> that is the best. That is the best Snapchat name. Before we started the podcast, they were like, can we swear on your podcast? I was like, I know for a fact you've never heard my podcast at this point in time. There's no way because we swear and at least say penis on one every other podcast. Every other podcast we say that. But I, it's Dude, not, most, it's, I say most interviews, that, that's always like a prerequisite. I mean, you split like 50-50. Some people are like, hey, don't say this, don't cuss, don't say this. And the other one's like, say whatever you want. Okay. Yeah, we don't censor... We don't censor shit over here. And I also don't ask, I, I started not asking like, the normal questions like, who's your influences, blah, blah, blah. I do want to know some things like tours and shit like that that you've done or, or shows you guys played. But sometimes I just want to talk to the band and fucking tell them that it's my show and don't ask me questions. I'll ask you questions instead. <laughs> I have the cap said now. How many um, uh, EPs do you guys have? That total, like, do you guys just have, like, just one, just the one that came out? Uh, yeah, one EP, we have one EP, a lot of uh, extras is just singles. Yeah, just just one EP. Yeah, we're this currently working, uh, since we don't have shit else to do about writing material, we're currently working towards it. Well, we, got, we got a couple pimps in the work, working <laughs> some, uh, working some hoes, trying to uh, gouge our numbers in a very uh, valuable way. So that that's still in the works. Mark's one of the hoes. I am I, one of the hoes. I think it's we very can't charge very much with him. I think it's very important that every band has a pimp to help them sell records, and you guys become the hoe. I, I will take that job if anybody's listening. I, I will take that job. I will, I will gladly put that on my uh, my, my time sheet this week. Will you think th- 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 <laughs> with that? Will you then put it on your resume after after you're after you're done doing that? I think that's something you can put yeah. on your resume. I was a band pimp. They were my hoes. I got them shows. Was that Ron yeah, too? We could, do, we could do a follow up interview and you'd be like, "Hey, since you've become the pimp, how is how is everything gone?" I'd be like, "You know what? I get all these bitches. I don't know where they came from." <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking hilarious, man. That that is hilarious. Okay. So, you guys been in 2017. What's, like, your best or most memorable concert that you've ever played as 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 Seasons? Ooh. That's, uh... I feel like you're going to get some mixed answers across the board. You need to get three different answers. So, mine, mine uh, personally goes back to, um... I guess Blue Ridge Rockfest 2018, uh... And this was actually before both Nick and Mark were in the band. Um, but uh, sharing the stage with uh, with Whitechapel and uh, Fuel and Motor Grader, and then even one of Tech Nine's artist uh, Stevie Stone, like it was just a it was a really really fun show, man. It was a really cool experience. And we actually this band owes a lot of uh, a lot of our, a lot of the main core of our home fan base came from that show and that really kind of propelled, propelled us to where we are now. So that, that would be my answer would be a uh, blue Ridge 2018. That's but awesome. Like said, that was before Nick and Mark. So see what they got to say. Go ahead and want to use twos. Uh, I'll, I'll go back to, uh, we had another interview earlier tonight and, uh, I'll go back to, um, it was like it was the last show of one of our um, original members, and it was actually not only the last show of one of our original members, but it was also the same day that we shot a video for "Violence Is a Virtue." That, as in this point of time, is our biggest viewed, streamed, biggest hit single on all platforms, and uh, we shot that video at nine to three. We had to sit still from three to fucking ten. We headlined that show, so it was a very long day. 
But that day we had an opening act that brought their own lights and everything else. We had CO2 blast, all that kind of shit. Like, you know, like we, it not a, like obviously it was really cool to shoot a video that day and then yeah. go on stage later and then be like, you just shot a video and then you go on stage and there's these blasts and stage risers. It just made you feel like a rock star. Like this is like the, 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 show we had. Yeah, yeah, you feel like we're fucking doing some shit, like, you finally feel like your fucking band's solid, you, it gets you motivated to stay in the band, like, you got, it glues you guys even more together as one, because you're just pumped and excited about it, you know, I, I get that. Nick, what about you? Nick, what about yours? I feel like uh, I've only played one show a season, so I choose that one. <laughs> oh, so when did you join the band? I joined February of this year. That's how long COVID fucked him. I do. Yeah, so, uh, I joined, and then, like, three weeks later, I guess, COVID hit, so everybody Did, likes to blame COVID on me. Didn't you guys do a Halloween show, though? Yeah, We I did. That was his first show. Yeah, oh, so you just did the show, uh... A couple months ago, or yeah, I guess it's December now, right? Okay, so did he come with a good? I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask uh, Mark and Matt, the two M's over here. You got two N. I'm gonna ask them. Did he? Did he do well on the first show? Was he fucking kicking well, ass? Well, well, he came to the gig naked. So oh, that was a good start. So yes, like he was completely undressed. So we're like, this is probably a good costume contest. <laughs> and we had a costume contest, but he was not invited in the costume contest because he was part of the band. And he was also naked. So we didn't want the size of the girth of everything to be involved in it. So he obviously <laughs> lost. Um, it wasn't that it wasn't spectacular. He did a very good job. But uh, he definitely wasn't part of the uh, the judging call. But um, yeah, that was our first show in a long time. And uh, was it like socially? Yeah, he really fucking nailed it. He got he got awesome. fucking crazy. He did some guitar spins. He did some crazy shit. Um, was <laughs> our best show, obviously, after fucking nine months. No, it wasn't. We were we were working with a a, a guitar player or a drummer a drummer, and um. And maybe higher. So yeah, it wasn't our best, but but fucking uh, Nick, but, Nick he just said but fucking do justice, and he did it completely naked. So that was that was pretty fucking metal. I mean, you can't you cannot play a fucking metal show naked and not be fucking metal. So where you can get from there? I think I Man, think I think I think he's talking about it so much that I don't believe that you were naked anymore. I think he's trying to convince <laughs> me that you were naked, but that you weren't actually naked. <laughs> I was, and for anybody who was there and took pictures, just know that it was really cold that night. <laughs> excuses, excuses, excuses. I, I promised you he was naked. I promise. You. <laughs> right, we we want to play the song "Circles," not to be confused with "Circle Jerking." Just circles, yeah. just just circles. And just when circle. when did you guys come out with this song? So uh, I'll, I'll I'll take the uh, the uh, take on this. Um, so I wrote this one. I actually wrote this as a singular artist about ten years ago. I got uh, fucked up by a relationship. What man hasn't been? Um, so uh, I have actually met my wife when I wrote this song about the previous girl, which was kind of funny. And she just fucked me up so much. I was just sitting in fucking bed, and I just thought I had an acoustic guitar. I wrote this fucking hook, the chorus, or whatever. Didn't think it was going anywhere. Uh, we were actually on the set of um, recording the music video for High Fives and Hand Grenades. And we were all just drunk, hanging out. And I was just like, hey, I want to show you all something I did before. And I played this in Poe and, and Kent. We're like, oh, my God, what the fuck is this? And I was like, it's just something I worked on. I, I, it's not heavy enough for um, seasons. They're like, we'll make it heavy enough. Yeah. So I, I decided to make it heavy enough. I decided to give it to seasons as my own project towards seasons. So this is a song about a girl that fucked me over. This is a song about a whore. And <laughs> the song is called Circles. All right. Yeah. I will say this. I will say this because you just came out of violence. And, you know, Mark posed the question. He was like, hey, what do you think we sound like? 
and you went through that whole spiel. And now you're getting ready to go. No, 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 no. And once again, once again, I did not go through a spiel. I said, <laughs> I, I went through a very small spiel, and I realized you guys were trying to set me up, and I immediately backed out of the spiel. I, I backed out of my spiel because you guys can't catch me. You can't fucking catch me. Catch me if you can, but you can't. Try it. See what happens. This is Circles with the band Seasons from Richmond, Virginia. Oh, my girl. You got me running in circles. Told the world why the fuck did you call me? I'm not the kind of guy that you can come back to. I'm the kind of guy to fucking replace you. So to be honest, an honest opinion is it sounds I can tell it's the same band from the from the you ain't talking to be so different, but I think it kind of sounds like you guys have the same um style of music. I guess it's probably it's probably a little bit softer, I would say, than the first song. I don't know. What what what's your guys' take on it? Since <laughs> you think it's so different. You think it's different than what? Uh, what was the first song you're coming up to? No, the first Violence. the first song I played. You mean the first yeah. song I played was "Violence Is a Virtue," and I just played "Circles." And yeah, 
Yeah, Matt, yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely something that 